SMX qualifying, we're going to talk about the seeded qualifying first. You can see Hayden Deegan coming in with the only 108.8, which was excellent for that time frame. We've got a little clip of him doing some riding through the sand section and around the first loop of the track. He looked very impressive, better than everyone, honestly. And we saw Hunter can have some issues, which we'll show a clip toward the end of this video. And we'll cover the final overall 250 qualifying, because I think that's really where the surprises land. To move on, we've got some Triumph clips where Ricky is literally out taking jumps on the new 250 F Triumph motorcycle. And so that's making a bit of a deal. We don't have any close up triumph has done in all of their marketing has kind of kept us at bay from seeing or noticing anything really in particular but they looked good they sound good they sound like very strong sharp running beats. so i think that's going to break down into it and so we're excited to see that come to fruition we also know that 450 final qualifying came in as chase sexton breaking into that 107 now jason anderson did a great 108 and where is jack down in fourth place and Kenny down at sixth place so the sprint isn't wide it's within a second we also have Hayden Deegan after he topped out that first session in the seated times he looked phenomenal he's wearing a Deegs he said on the podium I feel good the bike is perfect I'm no longer sick he had been sick in the first two rounds and so coming in we see Hunter having some issues in 14th place and he had this little tumble yesterday kind of hit neutral coming off the table and went over the bars pretty hard and we saw him actually exit the second qualifying session which would have been the chance to get above 14th so maybe hunter's got some issues coming into the final round uh, time will tell and then finally justin cooper put in the heater with a 108.5 and so that pushed hayden down with the 108.8 so those top four guys are within four tenths of a second and it's going to be an intense race tonight. 